Welcome back, Pure Fisherman. I'm Vinny G. Sorry for the lighting, but I am cruising through a two track. I'm going to be kayak fishing again today on the same lake I fished in my last video. And I'm going to be fishing off the drop offs, trying to land some bigger fish. I think they're going to be hanging out in deeper water because it is a lot hotter today. It's actually been like in the upper 80s recently, so I think these fish are going to be hanging out a little lower. Look at how, look at how tight this uh, two track is, though. And this is a giant suburban, too. I mean, I've never been in a car so big. This is my grandpa's car. He's letting me drive it down here to drop the kayak off and then fish for a few hours before the sun goes down. So this is actually how I got here in the first video, but I thought I'd do a flyover drone shot in that initial video because it is a short distance from where we were staying. And I thought I'd get both perspectives for you because there is a lot of bugs back here, so I'm gonna try to hurry up and get towards this dock. And it's very swampy too, so I'm gonna make this a quick drop. And there's actually a truck here. And one thing I noticed right off the bat from my last video is that I look like freaking Jiminy Christmas with this color combo, this green and red color combo. That's gonna have to change real fast. I don't like that. It's the only bait casting reel I have at the moment, so I'm gonna have to make that change. If you guys have any recommendations of what to put this uh, rod set up with, please let me know down below. Well, I fixed my bait casting rod. I think I'm gonna throw this netter egg because I fudged this up pretty bad. Forgot to put it through this before I came out, so that's just, you know, rookie mistake. I wish I knew the depths of this lake. There is no maps on it. This water is crystal clear, and I don't see any fish in this shallow water. There's a the fish. Yep, that's a good one. That's a good-sized bass. <laughs> Jump. Oh, that's not that big. It felt bigger than it was. Wow, I hooked him on the bottom lip. Yep. Great little bass to start the day. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones. Yep, I got hit. That's a tiny fish again. Wow, look at how clear this water is. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Just a little healthy guy again. I should have hooked it a little sooner. He swallowed it pretty good. So what I just did here, not on camera, if you're not familiar with this, if they choke it and the hook's in their guts, I just put the pliers underneath through and then bent it back. And then I just fed the line through here that way. I can now cut it. So now I can just cut the lure off, pull the line back through, and then release this fish. He just went under the kayak. Oh, he's over there. Good thing the water's really clear. He's swimming slow, but he's happy. He He's thanking us. Pretty good. How are you guys doing? Catching some fish? Some yeah. Just uh, two, two average bass over there. No, this is my third time out here. Yeah, it's really clear around here. You can see every fish, it seems like. I know, it's like it's too clear. They know when you're coming up on them. Do you ever fish that other lake, Clinger Lake? No, I haven't yet. I heard it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, I got one right now. It's pretty good, but that, it's pretty. <laughs> good size one. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the biggest one I've seen. Can't believe I lost that bass right in front of them. There's a fish. Just look at how clean these fish are. They're small. The biggest one I had I didn't land. Such a clean fish though. I don't have much to say, but as an outro, here's Charlie jumping into the water. Charlie! 